Hi, I'm Kurt Drew. People are spending more and more time in their homes these days. Houses are built tighter and tighter with better insulation to conserve energy. We also retrofit homes uh, with better insulation to conserve energy as well, which is the right thing to do. Energy costs are skyrocketing in this country as well as around the world. Now, uh, the problem with when we do that is that we could be creating issues with indoor air quality. The EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, is attuned to this and it's a key initiative to try to improve the overall indoor co air quality within the country. Uh, asthma is growing at an alarming rate in the United States. There's a 600% increase in the number of asthma cases over the last 30 years. That's 750,000 new cases per year. Allergies are also growing in our country as well. And a lot of that can be caused and attributed to our indoor air quality, whether at home and at work. And so we utilize the five danger levels to break down what these harmful pollutants may be in your house and help you understand what they are. And if you're having issues with your indoor air quality, hopefully we can help you fix that as well. Danger level five are fatal gases. Uh, this is radon and carbon monoxide. You can't see, smell, or taste these gases, but they can be fatal. Radon, obviously, is the number one cause of lung cancer for non-smokers in the United States and as well as around the whole world. And carbon monoxide is a serious issue, too. Danger level four is microbial growth. This can occur in a high humid environment. Uh, over 50% humidity can be a breeding ground for microbial growth, uh, funguses that can circulate and move around through the air. It also be, uh, be actual visible mold. Uh, you may see this sometimes in a crawl space as well as in a basement. And uh, uh, certainly it can cause health effects with respiratory illnesses. Uh, danger level three, allergens and particulates. Uh, this can be in the form of insect debris, dust mites, pet dander, these types of things that are can you know, particulates that can circulate around our air and cause illnesses as well. Danger level two is uh, infectious d disease, spreading of germs. Um, you know, one example of this would be is when my child comes home from school and uh, is ill. And I can just count the hours before the next child is ill, and then the next child, and then my wife's ill, and then I'm ill, or, or vice versa. And so that's an example of just the bacteria that gets in the air and circulates around in the form of viruses and, and can be a harmful uh, issue in your home. Danger level one is toxic compounds. Uh, these are volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, as, how, as they're commonly known. And they can be brought into your house in the form of building materials, like carpet and, and drywall, uh, different kinds of glues and paints. People can be allergic to those types of things and cause serious issues. Uh, other examples of volatile organic compounds can be just pollution in the soil that gets pulled into the house uh, through maybe an old factory polluted uh, the soil, or uh, we used herbicides and pesticides on the soil and farmland for years and years. And so those types of things can actually get drawn into the house, just like radon and humidity can, get, humidity can get drawn into the house. Volatile organic compounds can too. And so uh, those are the five danger levels of indoor air quality.